Hi, everybody out there in Facebook land. We are so happy to see you. And here we are with business inspiration. That's right, business inspiration. We are uh, every Tuesday at this time, we are interviewing business leaders, business shaker and movers, and today is no exception. We have Henry DeVries of Indie Books International, and I've known Henry for quite some time. He is a uh, fabulous little bureau of information and experience. So we are so happy, Henry, that you are with us today. So um, I'll just hop right into it, Henry. How, how are you doing? How are you? How's your family? Uh, you know, how's biz? What's up? Thanks for asking. The family is great. Uh, we are uh, all healthy and we're all in hiding under house arrest here. We moved the office from work to home. Uh, there's four of us. Sometimes we get on each other's nerves, but we're working on that. And uh, the business is going well. We're no Zoom or toilet paper, but we're doing fine in the pandemic. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, there for a while we had no toilet paper and all of a sudden now we've got more than anybody could ever want. I, I don't know. The toilet paper fairy came by and dropped it in. I don't know what happened with that. But well, I always said, I always said, I didn't know it was that kind of virus, but yeah. We actually were able to get a couple of cases of toilet paper, and my wife became the toilet paper fairy. She would call people and say, do you have enough toilet paper? Well, no, I'll be right over. And uh, she would bring oh. some rolls over. Yeah, I mean, I, I think wow. songs will be written about her. Legends will be told about the toilet paper fairy of California. Wow, she is she's amazing. Not only is she married to you, but she is amazing in other ways. Yeah. So. Yeah. Well, we, we just celebrated 40 years. Uh, yeah. Oh, 25 she is of amazing. years of our life. Yeah. We, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know you lied about your earning potential. That's how you got her. But that's another yeah, story yeah, for another that's interview. Another story. <laughs> <laughs> Say, you know, um, how do you, how, you know, speaking of toilet paper, uh, yes. this, this COVID-19 thing, um, in my mind, I, I kind of think of it as we we went through that first phase of this will be over by the end of June, okay, maybe July, oh, you know, well, now we're in this phase of, you know, it's going to be a while before things are back to whatever normal may have been. Yeah. And I like to call it the new reality, not the new normal. But what what do you see happening in, in business for entrepreneurs and small business owners, um, what do you see them doing in, in the next, you know, five, six months or so? Well, in the, the hundred or so authors that I talk to on a monthly basis, the realization has hit that this is what it's going to look like maybe for a year. You call it the new reality. I like that. I'll steal it. So this is our new reality. So what are we going to do about it? Um, you know, we can't wait it out. So what are we going to do? Absolutely. I think, because I think some people at the beginning said, I, this will be a nice little vacation, a month or so of uh, cleaning up my office, doing paperwork that I've always meant to do. Mm, yeah, uh, you can't pay the bills by putting paperwork in your files. So I think that's, that's what we're looking at now. And do you have any uh, advice for entrepreneurs, business leaders, what, what can we do right now? What, you know, when you talk to these authors, we talk to these business owners, you know, what, what are we, what can we do right now to move forward? Well, I tell people they can be an expert in 30 days on any subject. And the 30 day plan is what do your clients want? Not what you think they need, but what do they want? And then Declare that you're writing a book on that subject and start interviewing people on that subject. Post two articles on the subject from your upcoming book on LinkedIn. Hold a Zoominar. Uh, you know, that's like a small scale seminar, but on Zoom and you use LinkedIn to invite people and you're announcing it. I always say announce it to 200 people on LinkedIn that you're doing this. We say, to write the cover, I mean, create the cover for the upcoming book and share that. 
Um, you know, the book's not going to be done for six months to 12 months, but you're researching the book right now. You're interviewing people. I, I'm working on my new book. I'm holding round tables every month and I get six to eight people on the line and we're talking about the subject. I record it. I write articles from it. So all that activity, um, out in California, Dana, I say the universe rewards activity. When I'm out in Wyoming with you, I say God helps those who help themselves. I'm <laughs> bilingual. But it's the same message. It's the same truth that find out what they want, you know, solve a pain, have information on helping people solve that pain. And that will create some energy right now. That is fabulous information. I was taking some notes. This is being recorded for those of you who wished you had a pen and paper and you didn't have it e quickly enough. So I'm going to throw this recording back on Facebook and LinkedIn so you too can take some notes um, and really start working this. And you have this, this phrase, this terminology that I love, and it's called a client attraction chain reaction. Does that have something to do with these interviews and this, this uh, LinkedIn and all these things that you're doing? Absolutely. Um, back in science class, we all remember what a chain reaction was. It was some, uh, a forest fire is a chain reaction. A snowball rolling down a hill is a chain reaction. Um, the atom splitting that turned into an atomic bomb is a chain reaction. So it's a process of one thing leading to another, building upon each other. So I say your client attraction chain reaction is seven things you should be doing. You should be holding small scale seminars on Zoom now. We're in a virtual world. Uh, two, you should be seeking to speak in the virtual world. That's what we're doing right now. Thank you so much, Dana, for the opportunity. Three, you should be writing blogs, your LinkedIn column. Um, I write a column for Forbes.com, and I was surprised to find when I talk to people how they describe their business in the same drab way. So you need to get better at this. You need to work on how you define your business and telling a story in under two minutes that proves to me you know how to take people from where they are right now to where they want to be. Um, we should still be doing volunteer work. I do volunteer work for associations. It's a chance to network. Um, networking people, oh, I can't go to the networking meetings anymore. If, if you're in a place like California where um, in San Diego County, meetings are illegal right now, not even up to 10, you know, zero. Uh, that's, that's how serious it is here. There are still opportunities to network. When I put together these round tables on Zoom to talk about my upcoming book, well, that's networking. You can still do videos, how-to videos. Uh, you can use Zoom to record the videos and put them up there. And then um, seven, also do programs where you charge money for your expertise. I'm doing a virtual retreat for 12 authors in September. I'm almost sold out. It's $1,000 a seat to work together for two days on what's our action plan. So those are all the things you can do to create a chain reaction. Absolutely. And I, I, I will, I'm going to plug you because I can. <laughs> um, yes. And that is, that is because you wrote this fabulous book, Chain Reaction, uh, Chain, Chain, <laughs> Uh, you read it. I, Take I, two. I, Client attraction, <laughs> chain reaction. That's easy for me to say. <laughs> well, clearly, I can <laughs> say it, and I'm the stinking <laughs> host of this thing. Good yeah. grief. I have actually read the book, by the way, boys and girls and ladies and gents. Wow. And there is some really good stuff in here about how to move forward and some of the things that uh, Henry is talking about um, really – is in here and is so, so helpful. Things that we can do right now that will make a difference in our business. So uh, anybody who's out there, look for this book. It is called Client Attraction Chain Reaction. I think I got it right this time. Okay. <laughs> anyway, so great stuff. There's good stuff in here. So why do professionals 
need a chain reaction for our this client business thing. What's up? Well, Why Dana, do you need that? Yeah. Dana, we live in uncertain times. And there's one thing every business needs, more clients. To get the more clients, we need to become expert at something, and that's telling our defining story. We all have a hidden asset, and this hidden asset is something that no one else has. It's our story and our stories of how we get clients from mess to success, as Judy Carter would say, uh, from problem to solution. And you need to get good at telling those stories in, in under two minutes. That's our attention span these days. Absolutely. I think uh, being on Zoom and um, in Facebook Live and all these things, I, I think our attention really has sh shrunk. Um, I've, I've always been um, looking for the shiny object and the squirrel. So I, I'm no good at anything for over 15 minutes or so. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. why this is only 25 minutes because after that I might find something else to do while you're speaking. Uh, so yeah. that's I want to keep it short and simple. Uh, but I think it's true that we need something that will grab people's attention and you, you help us to do that. And I, I really um, appreciate that. So, so in a little short amount of time, can, can you, um, Describe, how do we create this chain reaction? What, what do we do to create this? Well, first we understand who we're helping, what they want, and how we can help them. A program, a, a system, a methodology. Then we need to get the word out there, and we do that through speaking and writing. I call it typing and talking. So it's to get the word out there by offering help on how they can solve their problems in general. That will lead them to hire you for the specifics. That creates the client attraction chain reaction. Okay. So uh, for our viewers out there, when, when we start thinking about, and you, you mentioned it uh, earlier uh, at the beginning, it's not what, I think they need, it's what, it's, we're looking for something that our clients want? What, how, how did you want. put that? In general, what every client wants is increase. They want more. They want abundance. And they want to associate with people who live that life, talk about that, and if they associate with you, they want some of that abundance to run off, to rub off. And we all need abundance for our ability to help others, to share what we have with others. So it's, it's not a, a materialistic aim for this. If, um, if you think back to the tribes, you'd want to be with the tribe that got the buffalo um, because things are going to be better and you're going to be able to support your family and help others um, if you were good buffalo hunters. I don't know if that's a good example for somebody in Wyoming. Uh, used to be many Tatonga across the plains of Wyoming. Uh, but the notion there is we want to be on the winning tribe. So you need to show them that you're a winner, and by associating you with you, they will win too. Absolutely. Yeah, I like, I like that. I like that. And I think um, I've seen a lot of people putting – uh, you know, free webinars on, free uh, Zoom meetings, free masterminds. And I think, um, I think so many of those are, are really valid and good ways of sharing, uh, getting people connected. Uh, you know, like you, you mentioned that you have this, this group of authors that come together and work together. Okay, they pay to get there. And that's part of your expertise and part of what you're doing, but um, so many people, we can get together with like-minded folks and, and share that and encourage each other. And have you found that, uh, do it, cause you've been, you're a famous uh, uh, seminar for free guy. Tell, tell, oh, yeah. tell me a little bit about that book. Oh, what do you call it now? Book, um, a book, book summit? Chat? Oh, the book, book Summit? Summit? Well, I have uh, a monthly book 
Marketing with a Book and Speech Summit. It's no cost to attend and it's interactive. So there's discussions, you get to network with people and meet people. And, and I have people who uh, you might say are competitors of mine. I let them attend, you know, and let's talk about it because it's a no selling zone for me. It's just, let's talk about this situation and issues and brainstorm together and collective wisdom. Um, I've done a hundred live around the country. And now since I uh, actually I started in January, I thought I, I need to figure out this zoom thing. So uh, uh, we were doing our third one when they shut everything down and we couldn't do live events anymore. So we do that monthly. I've added a second one in the month where I'll talk about client attraction chain reaction, or I'll talk about the 16 different ways to get booked as a speaker. If you're an author and a consultant, I'll talk about um, how to be an expert in 30 days, things of this and get discussions going. Yeah. So I'm a big believer in a small scale seminar. We've just taken it online. Now a trend I've seen Dana is many people are offering paid events. Now uh, there was a time we thought, well, everything had to be free because we all got decked with uh, COVID-19, the pandemic, and we wanted to be helpful. Now people want to go deeper. They want more help. And that's what we're doing. Yeah. And I, um, I've been to more than one of your book summits uh, live. And um, I have been with you uh, virtually. And even though I like the live events because, well, you know, you get to know people better. You can, you know, feel that energy going on. But I, I think um, the information and the energy that happens in those um, book summits really is very valid and it's uh it's an important thing for us to to get be involved in is getting with people of like minds and sharing and i love the fact that if a competitor wants to jump in let them jump in it's okay um i, I believe that they're i mean i'm a business coach right and i'm also a speaker coach you know what there are so many other business coaches and so many other speaker coaches but there's enough people out there that need help, that need our help, that need your help, that if someone wants to hop in and listen, it's okay with me. There's, there's plenty of, I'm not going to use the fish in the sea thing, but there are yeah. a lot of people that, that yeah. need our help. There's more people who need our help than there are hours in the day to help them. Absolutely. So that's the attitude you have. That's the abundance attitude versus the scarcity attitude that, oh, you know, I got to keep this under wraps and mine. And just like, that's really not an appealing personality either. <laughs> that was a little creepy there, Henry. I'm not Thank sure. you. Thank well you. done. <laughs> Excellent. <Yes. laughs> well, uh, anyway, back to our, uh, <laughs> Back to our scheduled programming. Anyway, right. Henry, this has been so much fun. You have got information that people need and you are so helpful and you're so generous for being here. And I really appreciate that. I know it's um, uh, your breakfast time there in wonderful <laughs> California. <laughs> yes. You're going to go out and sit on your deck and watch the ocean and blah, 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 whatever. Right. And so that's, that's wonderful. Um, do you have one little snippet, one just 60 second word of advice for us to take away before I give people your information? Thank you for asking. My one piece of advice is if you're a consultant, if you're a professional, um, a solopreneur, a book is the number one marketing tool. Speaking about the book is the number one marketing strategy. I've researched this for 20 years, and this is what's come through over and over again. And it's about generosity. It's about being generous in information to help people in general. And the more people you help in general, the luckier you're going to get with people finding you and hiring you. I love it. Thank you. Henry, that's great information. And I think uh, something that we can, we could all go out and uh, learn about and, and put into action. So I'd like everyone to just know that if uh, you are interested in 
meeting up with Henry, talking to Henry. And for this, you know, Henry, I apologize, but every single time, every single time I do this, um, <laughs> I have yet to be able to get this little puppy to work. And I'm sure there is someone out there that could say, Dana, all you need to do is this. But I still haven't found them um, how, how to do that. I haven't um, gotten my P. Oh, I see it. Ta-da. There it is it. now. Woohoo! Henry DeVries, at Hen and it's Henry at Indie Books International, that's abbreviated, dot com. And if anybody's out there uh, wants to learn a little bit more about this client attraction chain reaction, I have to read it, otherwise my mind goes blank, um, or any of the, his book summits, uh, look him up at anybooksinternational.com. Give him a buzz. He is generous in heart. He has great information. Um, if I can be of any service to you, there's my information at coachdanainspires.com. Reach out um, and give me a buzz. How can I help you? And we're just gr glad that you're here. Be safe, be well. And Henry, thank you so, so much once again for being here, uh, for being a guest and, and sharing your wisdom, your knowledge, and your expertise with us. And We'll be seeing you again on some virtual platform in the future. And we'd just like to say goodbye to everybody and have a wonderful day. And we'll see you next week with another business inspiration. Bye, Henry. Bye, Bye Dana. Bye, everybody. Bye.